Hello everyone, it's John from John's Hand Loading and today I'm going to do a quick video on how I clean my brass. I have an old video that shows how I clean my brass and it's sort of long and there's a section of loud music in the middle of it that some people don't like but it mostly because it's very long and drawn out I wanted to redo it and do a short version. So today this is going to be the short version of how I clean my brass. Uh, it'll probably be called something like inexpensive brass cleaning short version. So the first thing I do is I have this press set up as a decapping station and so I'll take my dirty range brass and I'll just decap all my cases with just a plain old decapping die. Um, usually maybe a hundred to a hundred 50 pieces at a time if it's like 9 millimeter size brass something like that today I have a giant size load I have no idea how much is in here and I'm gonna put the rest of this pile in there so decap my brass first that's what I do I suggest that you do the same if you're gonna follow the same process that I do decap your brass and then the primers will be popped out and it'll be ready to be wet tumbled by hand the way we're gonna do it so when I'm knocking the primers out of my brass, I put them in a tub like this one. That's what we have right here. Um, fill this up to a certain amount. doesn't really matter. It's not scientific. Uh, if I only had 30 or 40 pieces of brass and I wanted to clean them, then that's all I would do at once. Sometimes I do a big load. Sometimes I do a small load. This is going to be a huge load. I don't usually do this much in one tub, but I'm going to do it now just to see how it comes out and I'm going to film it. So this tub, the next thing I'm going to do is rinse these out real good with hot water, let it sit for five or ten minutes in the hot water and then drain it off and then go through my soap and lemon juice process which I will film. One of the things that people have talked to me about online is that they like to use a container with a screw-on lid usually something a little bigger than this but you could use something this size too they, they do the same thing that I'm doing do something similar only they put a few cartridges you know empty cases in a container like this put their water and soap in there and then just shake it around and then set it down and then they'll shake it around every once in a while and they'll do that for an hour some people leave them in there for longer than that again this is not a scientific thing it's something that you gotta figure out how you like to do it your way and adapt to it. Uh, you can use any kind of container that works for you. In my case, I really like these plastic shoe boxes. So the next step is I rinse my cases out with hot water and let them soak in it a little bit, swish them around a little bit, try to get some of the dirt and chunks out of it, and then after they've sat in it for a few minutes, I will dump it off and put new hot water in with lemon juice, and on soap. So first, this will be the rinse with hot water. And again, there's no magic formula here. I just sort of do it until it looks like they've cleaned up a little bit. So some of the chunks come off and some of the blackness is rinsed off. And if the water's not hot, I'll drain it off a couple times till it's really hot. <clears throat> okay, I drained off the dirty water after letting it sit in the hot water for about 10 minutes and swirling it around a few times. So now I'm going to add new clean hot water, two caps full of lemon juice, and a little squirt of the Dawn dishwashing liquid. And then I will mix it around and let it sit. Probably mix it around
for a minute. And then I'm going to put the lid on it and let it sit for at least 10 or 15 minutes and then come in and spin it around just like I'm doing right now. But I don't know how well you can tell on the camera, but the brass is starting to get clean already. I mean, it started to get a little bit cleaner just from the hot water, but just from the 20 or 30 seconds of being in this solution, it's already starting to clean up. So, so this stuff has been in here for a little over two hours. It's very clean, very shiny. It's been spun around by hand a few times. And so what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is I'm going to drain off the dirty water and then rinse it real good with clean water two or three times. Rinse it around, let it soak until there's no more soap bubbles and it looks like it's clean. Then when I'm done rinsing it with clean water, I'm going to dump off as much as I can and then dump, it, dump the cases into this towel over here out uh, in another room and kind of roll them around and dry them off a little bit then put them in a pan and put them in the oven. So when I come back, I get to the point where I put them in a pan and put them in the oven. I'm not going to show you the rinsing and the drying because it's simple and you really don't need to see it. So, once the brass has been dried with a towel after being rinsed really well, it should look clean and shiny like this brass does here. And then you're going to want to put it in an oven at 150 and 160 degrees for an hour to let it dry. And this was a very big batch, so I have two big trays. They are very shiny and very clean. I hope that someone has found this helpful. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.